guys! So today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me type of video. I realized that I haven't been showing you guys any makeup tutorials, like ever. I just kind of like forgot that was a thing and like this kind of was a makeup channel and now it's not really. So I feel like I should kind of throw some makeup videos back in there. It's honestly because I have not been doing my makeup. So I thought I would show you guys my everyday makeup routine because this is basically what I put on my face every single day and as you guys know I do go to the gym all the time so if I go to the gym in the morning then I usually just have mascara on maybe a little bit of eyebrow stuff um and if I go during the day this is what I have on my face so I am one of those girls where it's like if I have a full face of makeup on I'm still gonna go to the gym like I do not care it does not affect me it doesn't sweat off I don't look crazy. No, nobody cares. I don't care. So this is like my everyday face that I'm about to show you guys. I thought I would chit chat my way through it. So I'm really sorry if this is long, but I haven't done a makeup tutorial in like a month. So I feel like I should probably do one. So if you guys didn't know, I am a sophomore in college. So I've cut out a few products out of like my makeup routine where I'm just like, I don't really have time for this. So I get all of this done in about 10 minutes. I don't always put all of this on my face, but if I'm going for like a full look, this is the look that I do. So I thought it'd be easier if I just showed you guys that. So the first thing that I do is I always moisturize my face with something. I don't prime it. I only prime my face if I'm wearing it like out that night. But right now I've just been using this lotion. It is by Provise and it's Hydro Milk. I think I got this in one of my boxy charms or something. So I just squeeze out a little bit and just Put it all over my face and I really like the consistency of this because it's more of a watery lotion it does have a weird smell it's kind of like chemically so if you have sensitive skin this probably isn't a good idea because I'm sure it has fragrances in it because I can smell them <laughs> by the way this is the pink hoodie from that haul I don't think I tried it on so in case you're wondering what it looked like I was wearing it in one of my Snapchats the other day when I was in Marshalls getting more leggings because I have a serious problem. Speaking of leggings, I'm actually going to be buying, not buying, I'm going to do a workout collection. I'm done buying leggings for a hot minute. Um, after this video, I'm going to film it. So now I'm using my Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Foundation in 92 Caramel. I'm buying another one of these today when I go to Target because I am all out because this is my favorite foundation. I have not used another foundation since I bought this one, so I highly, highly recommend it. It just gives me the perfect finish. I honestly didn't need that much on my face, um, and it matches my skin very, very well. It looks a little dark when I apply it, but then after like a couple seconds, it looks fine, so it's like doing a reverse oxidation. I don't know. It's, it's very weird, but I absolutely love it. So I just use a wet Real Technique sponge to blend this all in. So moving on to the eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Bodyography Trio, just that dark brown shade. The rest broke out, so luckily this is the one that I needed. And to set them, I'm using my Chella Brow Gel, which honestly isn't that amazing, but I got it, so I thought why not use it all up. I'll probably get like an e.l.f. one when I'm done with it, but I do really, really like it. And to like fill them in, I'm just using this elf eyebrow duo brush which I really like as a little spoolie and then just the angled at the end so I guess we can play some music on Spotify um, if you guys have any questions on what's playing just leave them in the description box leave them in the description box leave your questions in the comments and I'll let you know or I'll add the songs to my description box so I'm just gonna play one of my random playlists I could just make this public but I'm not really sure how to do that so if any of you know Please let me know. The next 30 minutes are ad I don't want to listen to that. Okay. So we're going to jam and I'm going to do my eyebrows because it's going to take a hot minute. Can you guys even hear that? I would update you guys on the classes I'm taking. I don't know if I told you guys my classes for this semester because if you follow me on Snapchat you have probably seen all the classes that I've been in because I Snapchat constantly. So I am taking a 
intro to law class because it is a core class that I need. And if you did not know, you need so many core classes at Towson. I'm pretty sure we need like 18. It's really, really annoying. So I'm taking that, but it's pretty easy. We just had our um, midterm and I think I got an A on it. So that's pretty cool. It was like 45, 50 questions. Um, but it was really, really easy, but I also studied, so. Um, and then I'm taking a visual effects class where if you saw my Snapchat and you saw that shark, that's my visual effects class. We're using After Effects right now. Um, we started with Photoshop. Sorry. <laughs> Which was pretty cool because I've never used Photoshop before. Um, and then we moved on to After Effects, which is pretty fun so far. It's very, very frustrating. I actually lost my project, so that's fine. So I kind of have to start from scratch with that. So to do that over spring break, which is right now. And then I'm also taking an editing class, which is like a lecture. And then we do editing projects. I tend to do stuff in a really weird order. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer contouring. And I'm just using this Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sun Bronze. I decided I needed to finish up some of my bronzers before I buy any new ones. So I'm trying to completely deplete this. Um, so like I said, this is in the color Sun Bronze. And I'm just using this blush brush either by Ofra or Vasanti. If you look that up, you'll find it. It's just called the blush brush. And I bring it a little higher than like where normal contour goes for whatever reason. I just kind of like how it looks there. So almost on my cheekbones. And then I bring it around to the temples. Jawline. And then I bring it down my neck as well. And then I get some more and I do the same thing on the same side. On the same side. <laughs> on the other side. So I thought I would give you guys a little updates on like fitness because um, I don't think I'm going to have another like chit chatty fitness video for quite a bit. So tomorrow I think I'm going to try out front squats for the first time which should be really interesting because um, I've only really just got in the hang of regular squats. Um, but I hit 105 for eight reps for uh, high bar, high bar, <laughs> high bar squats, which was pretty cool. Um, and they weren't too ugly. They were, they were pretty good. Um, and it was so funny because I had this guy who we were like, he was, well, I was working into his sets. Um, and he was so helpful. And I realized I can actually lift a 45 plate off the ground. So that's good to know considering I'm getting pretty close to having 45 because I was doing 30 pounds on each side for 105. So I don't know, I love squatting. I really want to try, well, I can't do deadlifts in our gym or at the YMCA, so can't try that. But I want to go somewhere where I can actually try deadlifts because I love the bodybuilding style of training. But like powerlifting seems pretty cool. And since I love squats, I'm thinking maybe I love deadlifts. I don't know. Um, now I'm going to use blush. This is in Bellissimo Bronze. This is just the uh, Milani baked blush. This is probably my favorite blush of all time just because it's like orange. <laughs> and it just looks really good with my skin tone because it's kind of like like it's orange, but it has flecks of pink in it. So it can actually like look okay and not look like your orange. So I really like that. And I just kind of bring it around like a bronzer as well because it's very bronzy. And I'm not gonna highlight now, I'm actually gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna prime them with the color tattoo in Too Cool, and this is by Maybelline. So, um. I was planning on filming my Q&A today. I posted a video a while ago asking you guys to leave some questions, but even though I do have a handful of questions and I get questions all the time on other videos that I'm going to put in the video as well, I thought I would wait and ask you guys in this video to leave any other questions that you may have on that video in the comment section. So I'll leave the link down below if you guys haven't left 
any questions that you may have, whether they're fitness related or just anything. It can be totally personal, I don't really care. I share so much with you guys, it's kind of weird. I feel like it's probably not the best idea, but it's happening. So be sure to leave some questions down there if you guys have any. Um, now I'm going to blend something into my crease. So I'm using this orangish shade, hoping this is in focus from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm using a fluffy brush. This is the Sedona Lace EB13. And I'm just buffing this into my crease as well as the outer V. Now I'm going to be mixing two other colors from this palette. So I'm going to be taking the pink and the gold and just mixing those together. I like to get just a little bit more of the gold to mix. And I just place that all over my lid, mostly more on the inner part though. And I just really like how this looks for whatever reason. And I just mix the two colors together and I've been doing it every single day for the past like month and a half. So I'm really enjoying it. And this is basically the makeup look that I'm wearing in the majority of my videos, if you guys were wondering. And now with that same blending brush and that orange shade, I'm going to take it again and just go right over in the crease again, just to blend those two colors together. Cause I don't like there to be a distinct line as most people wouldn't. <laughs> And then the color that I decide to put in my inner corner kind of depends on my mood that day, but today I'm going to be taking that light shimmery pink shade and just with my pinky popping that right in the inner part. The two mascaras that I've absolutely been loving are of course the Dolce Punk Volumizer Mascara, which is almost completely empty. Like I barely have anything in here, so I'm actually going to buy another one in case you guys have a, another mascara that you recommend before I buy this please leave it in the comments down below it can be expensive because this thing is expensive so I don't care just let me know what is really good at making your lashes look really really like volum voluptuous I don't know and then this is the other mascara which I hated on in one of my boxycharm videos because it was just terrible the first couple times that I used it, but now I love it. So it is the Greater Than by MD Flow, I think. I really like the packaging, and I really like how it looks, so I definitely recommend this. So now I'm just going to highlight. That's all that I really have left. So I use my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Blush Gems. And I'm using my small e.l.f. Fan Brush and applying it down the center of my face. And then, of course, my cheekbones. And I've been a little more modest with my highlight lately. I was going hard with the highlight for a little bit, as you guys can probably see in the majority of my tutorials. But I've uh, I've toned it down just a little bit because I'm going class, not to a photo shoot. So. So the last finishing touch is the lipstick, and the lipstick that I've been using is the Maybelline Color Elixir in nude just kidding i either use nude illusion or i use glistening amber but i usually go with glistening amber which is almost empty but i love it it's more of an orangey nude while nude illusion is more of a pink so that is it for my everyday makeup routine if you guys enjoyed it be sure to give it a big thumbs up especially if you want to see more makeup tutorials in the future i'll have a little card so you guys can check out my previous makeup tutorials if you're interested be sure to check out my latest haul along with my latest Fitness Friday videos. I'll have everything linked in the description box, so be sure to click those links if you guys want to watch those videos. And I think that's all I have to say. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter at Lawin Was, and also on my Snapchat where I literally show you guys everything, especially this week because I'm on spring break and I'm working a lot. So you guys will see hours of Snapchat stories. It's Lawin Was is my Snapchat. And that's all I'm going to say because I know I'm going to start rambling if I keep going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you all in my next one. I love you.